Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now if you're a business owner or entrepreneur, chances are you're working hard to grow your business. But how do you scale without running yourself into the ground? In today's video, I'm gonna show you specific steps to build scalable business models that grow sustainably without burning you out. So let's get into it. First, let's really define what scalability actually means. A scalable business model is one where your revenue grows faster than your expenses. Now, the key here is to increase sales without a proportional increase in your workload. So think of it like this. If your business grows, but you're working 12 hours a day just to keep up or the lights on, that's not scalability. That's burnout waiting to happen. So how do you build a model where you can grow, but your workload doesn't? It comes down to creating systems and leveraging automation and delegation. So let me break down some specific strategies that'll help you understand this scaling sustainability. The first key to scalability is creating repeatable systems. So think about your daily tasks. What do you spend most of your time doing? Anything you do more than once can and should be systematized. This means creating step-by-step -step processes that anyone can follow, so you're not the only one doing it. So start by documenting your workflows, whether it's onboarding clients or running marketing campaigns or fulfilling on orders or clients, write it all down, then break it down into smaller tasks that can be delegated or automated. Now, for the business professionals or business leaders, business unit leaders out there, right, I get it. Not a lot of people know how to do this or like to do this, right? They don't wanna take the time to write everything down so they can never duplicate themselves so they always run into these issues. So if you're having these problems, pick someone from your team to follow along, to document it for you, right? Because this is vital to growing your business or your business unit. And you can use tools like Asana or Trello to map out these workflows. This way, when you hire or delegate, you can hand over a process that's clear and repeatable. And over time, these systems free up more of your time and they allow your business to scale without constantly needing your personal attention on every single specific item. And next up, automation, which is my favorite. If you're not automating parts of your business, you're leaving money and more importantly, time on the table. And automation doesn't mean replacing the human touch. It means cutting out repetitive tasks that don't need your manual input. For example, let's say you run an e-commerce store. You can automate your email marketing with platforms like MailChimp or ActiveCampaign. So when a customer makes a purchase, they automatically receive a confirmation email, a follow-up email, and maybe even a discount code for their next order. All of this happens in the background without you lifting a figure and it's already preset. Another great tool is Zapier, which allows you to connect different apps and automate workflows. For instance, when someone fills out a form on your website, Zapier can automatically send that data to your CRM, then send them a welcome email and create a task for follow-up in your project management system. And automation saves hours of time. We specifically use Zapier as well, and we automate thousands of tasks per month. I literally think 10,000 tasks because we book a lot of calls and we do a lot of different things here, right? So this is really vital to automate these systems to free up your time. And the next step in avoiding burnout while scaling is learning to delegate. You can't and shouldn't do everything yourself as a business owner or a business unit leader. Your time should be spent on high level strategy, not day to day repetitive operations. So what do you delegate or what can you delegate? Start with those low impact tasks. If you're spending hours on customer support, admin tasks, social media posting, it's time to delegate. This could mean hiring a virtual assistant or working with freelancers on Fiverr or building a small team. But here's the key. Make sure you delegate properly by giving clear instructions and having a process in place for accountability. And a quick pro tip, use Loom or Zoom to record your screen to share tutorials for your team. Instead of answering the same questions over and over again, you can create a video guides that walk them through the entire processes. This way, your team can take over tasks without you constantly being involved and explaining things every single time. Now let's talk about what you're offering. If your business relies on trading time for money like consulting or freelancing, it's gonna be harder to scale your business because your time is limited. To truly scale, you need to offer products or services that don't require your direct involvement every single time they're sold. This could mean creating digital products or eBooks or an online course or offering a subscription services where clients pay you monthly for access to ongoing resources. For example, say you're a coach or consultant, instead of only doing one-on-one -on -one sessions, you could offer group coaching programs or pre-recorded courses or downloadable resources. These scalable products allow you to generate income while reaching more people without constantly trading hours for dollars. Finally, let's address the elephant in the room now, burnout. 
Scaling your business can feel overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. The key is to set boundaries early. Don't be afraid to say no to opportunities that don't align with your long-term goals. It's easy to get caught up in chasing every potential client, but remember, quality over quantity. Also, make time for rest. As entrepreneurs or business unit leaders, we often feel like we have to be on 24-7, but downtime is crucial for productivity. So schedule time off, delegate more as you grow, and trust your systems. When you build your business or unit on solid foundations, you can scale without sacrificing your health or happiness. All right, that's it for today's video. I hope these tips help you build a scalable business model without burning out. Remember, it's all about working smarter, not harder. And if you found this helpful, do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips on scaling your business or your business unit and improving your mindset. And drop a comment below with your favorite tip from today's video or how you plan to scale your business.